and welcome! I'm Levitator and today I'm playing Alone in the Dark. Yes, this is a game I've been wanting to play for a long time now and it is finally released. I cannot wait. It is a reimagination of a 90s cult classic, Alone in the Dark. Um, and this has some famous faces in it, so I'm excited to see what's in store. So without further ado, let's play! We are starting a new game on Standard. This is the intended difficulty, so let's play it as it is intended. We've got two different options here. We can play modern or old school. Modern is extra help provided to make the experience smoother and easier, including hints and helpful highlights, or old school. For those who want to figure out everything for themselves, no extra systems to guide the player. I'm not too sure what the playstyle difference will be between these two options. I think I'll start with modern and then I'll see how I get on because it says here that you can change it at any time in the options menu. <laughs> Are you excited? Because I'm excited. So, your uncle, what's wrong with him? He's possessed. As in the devil? Something like that. He says a dark man is following him, watching him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course, but I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis. Figuring you might stumble upon some cure. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to get him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. Here we are. My uncle's not well, Mr. Carnby. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just... wouldn't feel safe going alone. Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What exactly are we going to do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. Choose character. Ooh. Emily Hartwood by Jamie Comer. I do love Jamie Comer. Or Edward Carby played by... Do I also love David Harbour. It's... I mean... It's a hard choice. I think I'm going to go with Jodie Comer. Strong female lead. Let's do this. I haven't actually done much research into this game, so uh, in the play style of it. So this is all going to be kind of blind and 
sound new to me. Hello? It's so quiet. Where is everyone? This is a big place. Maybe they're on the other side of the house. Stay here. I'll have a look. an engine okay so we've got a gun i don't know what the controls are other than was it to move around right click okay assume left click is to shoot can't scroll i've got a little what looks like maybe a potion for meds on the left there look at waste inside the house so objectives if i press o does that no okay Inventory, I. A long engagement, a ring. When I get back, 1918, John Marcus. Oh, did my fiance die or something? Surprised by her own reckless decision, Emily found herself breaking into DeSetto. She mulled over how to present her story in case she got caught, but couldn't think of anything that sounded convincing. She wasn't much of a fast talker. Best to find a way to open the front door and let Detective Khan be inside so he can handle the situation. I see. I love the voice acting in this. Saving me if I'm to give my best reading. So there's a supposed cult here. According to our... Was it our uncle? I actually can't remember what relation he was to her. Um, I guess this is the garage, the garage. We're going to do some snooping though, right? We're not going to just go straight up there. Got to do the snoop. Right, now what is this? It looks like a key. What's this? And a light. Flashlight. It's a clue. All right. Kitchen garden key. Let's open. Okay, so we can look at what we have here. Press V to switch to your flashlight on and off. Oh, it's like a little body flashlight. Love that. Okay, V for... I don't know. You'd think it'd be F, really, wouldn't you? Now, is there anything going on here? Some rope on the floor. Got a little flashlight now though because i can see a bit better which is nice nothing too suspicious going on here the kind of stuff you'd expect to find <gasps> ratties good thing we got a flashlight eh i'm not sure how spooky this game is how scary it is i guess we're gonna have to find out so let's use this key we've got Yep, use it. Mm -hmm. I thought that was an but it's just... Right, well, let's turn the flashlight off. We don't need that here. I am crouching, though. It's okay. No, I don't think I'll be able to get in there. Can I? No, I don't care, I don't have an item. Right, fair enough. And I wonder how much this game is going to reward sort of exploring. We have a gun, so there's going to be a level of combat. It's not going to be completely survival horror. That's like a little lamp on the table with a flower. Very nice. You got anything? I guess that's like a... A little drinking bowl for birds. Hmm. Oh, there's something stuck at the bottom of the hole. Why? So the same button to go back is the button to aim. So that's why she did that. We'll come back to that. Just store it in our gamer brains for now. Okay. I think... Oh, she's getting the gun out. 
Oh, I didn't do that. Um, yeah, I think the game just saved. So it's obviously some sort of checkpoint we've just done. This must this be older than Dersetto. Big creepy tree. the house around it. Yeah. Must be important. Why do creepy places always have like really creepy conservatories? Ancient trees with random pottery, ancient pottery around it. What's this? Oh, housekeeper's key. Okay. I wonder, will that open the shed? Maybe. I'll go back out there in a moment. Maybe there's a tool in the shed for getting that thing out of the hole. We're finding loads of stuff. Ammo! Pistol bullets. Lovely. Thank you. Can't go up there. That looks like it's blocked off by books. Okay. Can't open that. Oh, someone's been enjoying some nice drinks here. Very nice in the conservatory. All right, nothing going on there. And then there is a door. It's all lit up that they definitely want me to get to. Right, let's use this key. Hello, it's just me, Jodie Coma. I found a way inside the house. Well done me, I am so smart. I'll I'm just, just take this. Your, your med supplies, don't mind me. Oh, it's very wet in there, isn't it? They got a flood problem. Leaky pipes. They've definitely got a rat problem. That's not very good, is it? Got people staying here. All right, whose room is this? It's a Bible. Every day your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone, and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust-covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth, or if you had turned your back against us. I have started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I am going down a path that you find disagreeable. With help from Batiste and Charlotte, I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. I have <laughs> long voodoo. been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but it's been of good use to me. It seems all harmless in my book. I see some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of gris, gris Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but the French quarter priestess tells me it's all connected. Yeah, they left the food out of the Bible. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around. That the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you. Our Heavenly Father. I am so grateful for the words you gave Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. The world will be blessed soon again. Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Let it be the truth. A mother of earth, wood and dirt. A mother of a thousand young. Sacred sand, one dollar. Black cat oil, dollar fifty. Devil shoe strings, a quarter. That makes two dollars and seventy-five cents, madame. What was that you were telling the doctor? A goat without horns. What does that mean? Ah, you must have misheard me, madame. I said no such thing. Please. I you know I don't look like then. any What's of you, but I'm devout. I'm ready to do what it takes. Mm, do not be so eager to sacrifice the few things you have left, madam. Now please, leave my store. A goat without horns. So I'm trying to work out people's accents. Are we in, like, southern America? Okay, well, it does sound a bit culty, to be honest. They've mentioned voodoo and sacrifice, so that's not a good start, is it? The voodoo. 
more bullets are gonna shoot me some cultists. Gonna go Jodie Comer on their ass. Now this is a lovely kitchen. Look at this, it's huge. It's a mahoosive. Yeah, give me their meds. I've got three drinks now. The girl's gonna get drunk. A nice little pig's legs, sausages, lovely. They are loading me up. What is this? Lagnip. Rat, oh, rat poison. Oh, well there is a lot of rats. Maybe they... <gasps> what was that? I don't know. Non-essential items that you can find throughout the game. Completing sets will uncover forbidden knowledge and sometimes even more. Oh. Lagnips carry over from game to game. Some sets can't even be completed without playing both of Carmby's and Emily's campaign. Oh, that's an interesting idea. So we will have to play as both of them. I see. We're playing as Emily, AKA Jodie Comer. And then we'll get to play There's a lot of noises going on. That's a really interesting idea, having two separate playthroughs of the same game. I like that. Let's just hope the game is good. And I want to play it twice, you know? I feel like I can hear snoring. Is that through the wall? It might be, I'm hearing something through the wall. So we came through that door. We've been in there. So let's check this out and then we'll head off. Oh, did that just open randomly? God, they've left it in a bit of a state, haven't they? They haven't done their washing up. That doesn't look mouldy though, although I don't know, is it meant to look like that? It doesn't look particularly great, but you know, soup looks like that, doesn't it? Oh, cockroaches. Well, we'll head that way in a moment. we can go through here which way do we go what's this paint right so there was also a route over here let me just double check is this a dead end it is a dead end oh and there's another door here so many different routes we can go right i see let's go down here first i don't want to miss anything you know i want to get some good snooping in Ratties. More bullets. Jodie Comer's ready. She's ready to go. Nothing in there? It's weird how it doesn't like open that far. Okay, I assume not. I need the key. Okay. I need the key. So we'll come back here remember the things we need. Streetcar ticket, Lagniup. What is Lagniup? Uh, maybe we'll work out. Open. Oh, so these are the sets that they mentioned. So I've got a Great Depression, which involves a syringe, rat killer, and some sort of pack. And then I've got the Crescent City streetcar ticket and some other stuff. Okay, before we got up there. I thought I heard breathing, but... Oh, maybe it was a fan that I heard. Oh, maybe it was this. They got some bread. People have been playing cards. Sabotage clue. Please do not touch the boiler. It is working, after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up and he can take a look at the leak. Mr. Waits. So this is evidence that there's been a sabotage of the boiler. Oh, and it's caused a leak. It's a puzzle. Can I... Oh, I have to... There must be a missing piece or something. I thought they were like slides, like tiles that I could move about, but no. Okay. That doesn't look safe. 
can definitely hear. Is it a dog or something? I can definitely hear something. So, right. I need to add a valve to that in order to be able to cross here. I assume if I cross that, I will get hurt. Noted. And there's someone snoring or something snoring around the corner. Let's go let Dave in, shall we? Davey boy. Oh. I can't. I can't get in. I assumed that was the entrance, but maybe it's not. Okay. Gonna do some snooping. Oh, the pipes are a bit loud, aren't they? Oh. Well, that bathtub is dirty. Imagine taking a bath in that. You'd end up dirtier than when you... Before you got in. Oh, there's nothing in there. Now, we should get him in. Because she said that she's not very good at dealing with people. But Snoop has got a Snoop. Dercetto? Dercetto? I don't know how to pronounce that word. Dercetto floor plans. So this is where I am. I see. I came up here. I assume. And that is where I need to let Dave in. Davey boy. Key item. Piazza key. Where's the piazza? Now what's this? Piazza. It's like pizza but spelt wrong. Okay, that's there. So that's probably where we're going to go to. Oh, I could have some pizza. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Piazza key. Does that work? No. Got to find a medicine key, I guess. God, who needs that? I've got five medicine drinks at this point. I could basically get decapitated at this point and I'll be fine. It's like a nurse's room. You can kind of see my reflection a little bit. Lottie's diary. Sunday, June 22nd. I spent all day looking for Jeremy. I should have cared for the others, Jeremy. but I'm scared that he will do something irreversible. Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there on my desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one lately. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. That dog of his found a strange rot permeating the house. She's showing us, he said. Like those blots and streaks of fetid rot was talking to him. If we want to get the pain medication, we have to go inside the grand parlor. Right. Let's do a bit more snooping. Hold I to open the map. Oh, okay, that's what I just did. Piazza key? Now, can... Is this... Oh, that's the library. We don't have a library key. I need the key. You do need the key, Jody. My gal. Now, did she say... And it's the grand parlour. Oh, so we're above where we were before. Oh, look, she puts her hand on the railing if you stand next to it. So this is where we were a moment ago. I see, I see. We are speaking like a southerner. I don't know what that accent is. Tell me what that accent is. I'm just uh, doing my best sort of impression. So I'm running back. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I didn't see this. Look at that. That is not cranberry juice. Did someone like fall? They can't have fallen down. What happened there? I got wrecked. Now before I go that way, because that looked pretty crazy, I'm just going to check out anything up here. It's wedged shut. It is wedged shut. Great. 
You are so observant. Feels like there should be windows or something here. It's a bit of a weird hallway. It looks important. Yeah, because it says private, no entry. It's got nothing to say about the uh, blood everywhere. Whoa. Fancy. This is mad if fancy. I need the key. Yeah, we're going to hear that a lot, I feel. <laughs> we already have heard it a lot. Some stuffed animals, a big stuffed bear. Big rug. Um, coming out of all the interesting comments here. So, the Pakayun Post. Pick it, pick a you. The Great Depression. President Hoover raises tariffs on over 20,000 imported goods in an act to protect American labor. Following the collapse of the Wall Street stock market on October 24 last year, American industry has suffered greatly. Thousands of companies have gone bankrupt and left a large part of the American workforce unemployed. In an attempt to turn the tide, the Smoot-Hawley Tariff Act has been signed by President Herbert Hoover. By regulating commerce with Love foreign countries, the government hopes to encourage the industries of the United States to compete with cheap foreign imports. Superstition on rise. New Orleans voodoo stores and spiritual mediums see increased profit during troubled times. While the market has faced hard times ever since Black Thursday of last year, voodoo doctors and snake charmers see significant rise in number of customers. With the coming eve of St. John on the 23rd, the police expect increased cult activity around Bayou St. John, the southern shore of Lake Pontchartrain. Voodoo rituals in that area on the eve of St. John have a long tradition reaching back to the first snake worshippers brought as slaves from West Africa. During the 19th century, its practice was popularized by the legendary Marie Laveau and has since been embraced by many of the Creoles and the surviving aristocracy of the French Quarter. Author seeks asylum. Rumors regarding author Cassandra Beauregard making Dorsetto her home verified. Dorsetto oh, Hospital verified. is an old plantation building on the eastern shores of Lake Pontchartrain. While often considered an asylum for the insane, residing Dr. Elmore Lee Gray prefers to think of it as a convalescent home, a place yeah, well, we where you can go to rest. The patient list is kept secret, but thought to include many of the black sheep of wealthy families, because at Dorsetto, treatment does not come for free. Local author Cassandra Beauregard has now been confirmed by her own admission. She's been lauded as a powerful Creole voice and written many successful books. Lately it was reported from Hollywood that she has finished a moving picture manuscript titled Slaughter Gulch. That film is set to hit the theatres next year. Slaughter Gulch, eh? Wow, I'd like to see that. That sounds interesting. And I am loving all the voice acting going on. They're doing a far better job than I could. So many accents. I'm loving the New Orleans accent that I am probably murdering. Sorry, New Orleans, not New Orleans. A rubber stamp. It's another Lang Lagni app. It's for a new set, though. I don't really understand this whole Lagni app business. They can't say I didn't try. Oh, there's doors and doors and more doors. I get lost in this place. There's so many rooms. Can he get in there? Alright. Wait, what is that? Is that a light switch? It kind of looks like a bell. I think it's just a fancy light switch. I need the key. Right, another dead end. So, let's go this way, shall we? Up the stairs. Wait, don't! No. No. Excuse me? Do you know where I can find Jeremy Hartwood? Of course not. McCarthy, what are you doing? 
I told you not to lose sight of the girl. Don't you worry, Mags. I'll find that little rascal. Who are you people? What are you doing here? I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. His name is Jeremy Hartwood. What are you doing, she, child? You shouldn't she be alone. Go moment. find my coffee. Who are you? Are you here for the Fay Dodo? Go upstairs now. What is going on? My name is Emily Hartwood. I, I'm, I'm the niece of Jeremy Hartwood. This is Detective Carnby. The police? Why are you here? No, I'm a private investigator. Sorry to bother you. My client's worried about her uncle. He's a patient here at Dressetto. If you don't mind, could you direct us where to find him? No, I can't. Jeremy has gone missing. If you leave your information, I will make sure to contact you. Wait, he ran away? No, he won't leave the house. He's around here somewhere, and both of our orderlies are looking for him. That's unacceptable. Where's Dr. Gray? I want to speak with him immediately. Fine. I'll ask him. Wait here and don't touch anything. Why wouldn't they notify family? Yeah, we don't know where he is, because we're useless, and we lost him in the house. Do you want to see Jeremy's room? Can you show us? Follow me. What is this art? This art is like um, out of Beetlejuice. If you guys have seen that film. I mean, if you haven't, what are you doing? You're on a horror channel, you haven't seen Beetlejuice. Stop watching this right now and watch Beetlejuice. No, don't stop. Please don't stop watching this. Keep watching this, and then once you finish watching this, then watch Beetlejuice. Thank you. Gosh, she just blew a raspberry at me. Blow a raspberry back at her. Strange kid. Hmm. Let's look around, see what we can find. Something tells me there's more to this house than first meets the eye. Oh, steady on. Search Jeremy's room for clues. Well, he likes carving weird stuff, doesn't he? Wait, let me... Do I have to... I just have to get... Do I have to get the last tile and then I can... And this, and again, looks like one of those things that you should be able to move around. Okay, fine. Whatever. Creepy. Skeleton. Fleshy dudes. Oh, come on. There's going to be something cool here. Take it off. Take it off. That's what I'm doing. I would just lift that. The commonplace book. A clue. Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room, counting the it's days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity, staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. Would he have looked the same to my father as he struggled for his life? Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? Oh, I wish me. so that Emily. I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Tarawea. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Signora Perosi, back from the beyond? Every night I hide from him, moving from one misshapen memory to another. Scenes conjured out of fantasy and delirium. Places I struggle to even paint. I wish I understood your death, Signora. Is there anything I could do for you but bury you in that bleak necropolis? That triumphant chapel rising above the ledges and the oven vaults shall be your sepulcher where you may rest. Sepulchre. And I shall weep. So there's a dude haunting him. Oh, we got painted tile. Yes! Give me that painted tile. I'm gonna puzzle like you've never seen anyone puzzle before. I'm guessing there's a key in there. Right, let's do this. Are we ready? Let's do this. Right. Oh, I can... Wait, how do I... Select piece. Mm. Well, that... That needs to go. Oh, so oh, I can literally I can just swap them. Right. I thought I had to do them side by side. Is 
There we go, he's getting it off now. Is it creepy? Have you ever seen anything like this? Looks like a talisman. You mean like this one? <laughs> Looks like Willem Dafoe. God, how good would it be if Willem Dafoe just turned up in this? Was that her uncle? Can you find me a knife to cut the canvas? I want to take this with me. You want to take the painting? Sure, I'll find one. He's like, this lady is weird. I found this tube as well. Should keep it safe for you. Do you want to carry it or should I? Miss Hartwood. Emily? I'll take it. Thank you. We're done here, right? I'm not sure. I don't know how to do any of this. Listen, I think we should talk to Dr. Gray. He must know something about what's going on around here. Okay. Let's do that. Come on, I don't want to be here all night. Detective Carnby? W where did... Is this why people get lost in this place? It's like a multi-dimensional house. Not only multiple rooms, but multiple dimensions. The lighting's kind of changed. It's like a bit more green and yellow now. This is, we've just gone back into the same room. What Whoa. on earth is happening? We like traveled in time. What is this? Like we're in a Western. Investigate the corner store. Okay. Is that the corner store over there? I guess so. I oh, know, I guess we haven't travelled in time. Maybe we travelled in place. Because we're kind of in an old place anyway, right? Yeah, we don't have to keep for that. What's all this about then? More oh, cockroaches. Gross. This saxophone kicking us off. Very nice. <sighs> Moody. I've got 23 <gasps> bullets now. What the shit is that? You have to tell me twice. Ah! Oh, get in the room, woman! Oh, she ran out of bullets. What the hell was that thing? It's like a weird... I went for the shooting rather than the sneaky route, you know? Right, let's crouchy crouch. I only got a little bit smacked. Things have got crazy! So there's like monsters. Oh my god! Tackled me. No. Oh. You want me to reload? You do. Oh, yeah, mate. I'll play down and wait. Oh, I know how to press the space bar. But I just instinctively did that. Okay, well, I'm not too messed up. I only got smacked a couple times. Ugh, look, they're all like guts and vines. It's like plants have sort of melded with the people. I wonder if that's to do with that really old tree that we saw. 
This is just a normal day for Jodie Comer. She's like, whatever. Shooting some tree zombies. I do that on the weekends for fun. So, do you reckon we can't go in the fog? I can't go that way. She can't go that way. But I did find some bullets in the bin, so that's great. wonder if they'll have bullets in tree stumps like I thought they would be in when I played Amnesia the Bunker. But they never were. I just can't them, be. But they never were. This can't be. Is it? Have we actually travelled in time as well? I'm just finding it really hard to work out, or is it just travelled... I mean, it all looks very old, but then I guess they were driving a pretty old car. Oh, why is it telling me to sprint? I guess it's quite a big environment. Take you a while. I'm full. Okay, I'm going to drink one then. Wait, how do I do that? It's G. Right, I worked it out. That took me longer than you guys need to know. I got some more bullets. I can't go that way. Jody, I want to hear solutions, not problems. <laughs> okay, well, they're going to give me a bell. That's what I'm going to do, okay? Dorsetto, looking for my uncle Jeremy? Jeremy's your uncle? I didn't know. Why would you? You nearly messed me up. You got an axe. You're still working at Dorsetto? Yeah, both me and Lada stuck around. We're real orderless now. Y you remember my sister Lada, don't you? What happened, Batiste? How are we here? You know about the dark man haunting your uncle? I'm familiar with his mental state. I think we all in his head somehow. Because these streets are real, but they're not like on any map. Nah, this is like when you remember something, but in the wrong way. Do you know how to get back to Dorsetto? I'm not safe here. Truer words have yet been spoken, Mrs. Marcus. Don't call me that. It's Miss Emily Hartwood. There's no reason to call me anything else. I'm sorry, Miss Emily. I'm just trying to tell you like it is. This place ain't safe for no one. There's evil hiding in the dark. How do I get back? Only Jeremy knows how. He has this juju necklace guiding him. You mean this talisman? Mm-hmm. Just like it. He says it's been protecting him. Ever since he got it from Miss Jackson down the street. Sorry, you know Jackson. where it came from? Have you been there? I was there no more than one hour ago looking for Jeremy. Locked it up to keep the ghouls from getting inside. You can have the key if you want. Thank you. I'll take a look. Stay safe, miss. Whoa, those dead chameleons. Batiste's keys. I got a nice little key ring on them. Lovely. Great. So he's just hanging out by the window. So we're behind... Oh no, he's behind a right oh yeah. There's loads to check out here. I'm very interested in the dead chameleons, but anyway. That apparently is not important. More bullets. What's in that? A lagni up again. It's a preserved reptile. That's the thing I had my hand when he like attacked me. So that is part of a goat without horns. Oh, that was mentioned in one of the earlier clues. More pistol bullets. So we're in our uncle's memories. 
but he's mem remembered things incorrectly. So it's all a bit messed up. I can't go out that way. Is this just so we can talk to Batiste? Yes, okay. Well, I don't need to talk to him right now because I've just done that. And he just tackled me. It's the Wild West out here. This is where we just came in. So we haven't been down here yet, so maybe we'll check this out. Batiste, hello. All right, mate. Yeah, he's doing good, apparently. What the hell is that? Do you reckon I can hit it from here? Here, does that reset it? Ugh. Ugh. Is that where it went? Did it just despawn? Oh no. Okay. Oh, but it did save. It did save the damage I did. So although it sort of despawned it, I haven't lost bullets. Great. Okay, well. I guess that's. Uh, learning some of the gameplay there they're being nice to me i thought i had uh messed things up but it seems things are okay i didn't actually count how many bullets that took items can be thrown at enemies or used to distract them oh i just decided to to just shoot him maybe that's smarter gameplay is actually they are giving me a lot of bullets though. Oh, a pipe. Yes, I'll have that. Thank you. Oh, what's this? What the? <laughs> now, how do I F? Whoa, get wrecked, mate. And hold F for heavy attacks. Right, well, oh, I didn't do that. I panicked and used my gun. What was he doing there? Whoa, he killed an entire family of cockroaches. Oh, uh, it looks like maggots. Oh, they're pulsating, that's grim. Now, what items? Aha, as I asked. Items can be thrown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cute. Yeah, I'm really glad I did that. Maybe I could go down here. The other ways look a bit foggy. Yeah, okay. They got a serious fog problem here. There's lots of these shops. Need an experienced babysitter. Oh, okay. That's what that says. I'm really appreciative of whoever went around hiding bullets in the bins. It's very nice of them. I've got another weapon. How do I choose what weapon? Oh, so you can have an axe or a pipe. I don't know what's better, really. Axe? <coughs> oh, yeah. <coughs> I wonder if the pipe has more reach. That's pretty. Yeah, take that bin. How dare you give me bullets? So, F to stick him with an axe. Right click to shoot him. <coughs> And she, she's pretty quick. The controls are pretty snappy on that, which is great. I've got full health. They've not landed another hit on me yet. What are you doing? Oh. I wonder if I can shoot them. Do you reckon they can uh, aim stuff at me? Now, if I start shooting him, is that going to bring out a bunch of dudes from these doors? I'm not going to waste my bullets if he's just hanging out up there for no reason. That's pretty oh. grim, isn't it? Yeah, oh, indeed. What is, what is that? Is that some, like, Cthulhu 
Like, oh, it's guts. Oh, it's guts. I thought they had tentacles, but they definitely look like intestines. Oh, here we go. Need to. I was thinking, I was like, right, if he gets any closer, I'm gonna axe him, but I didn't need to. They don't drop anything. It's good things that bins are generous, right? Oh, is he coming down? He's thinking about it. I don't really know. I guess I need to go up. Very comes, right. Can I hide? No, no, that is a definite no on the hiding. You know what, mate? Yeah. Mm, probably going at a dead end here. And we're up here. Let's be a bit quicker. This must be Miss Jackson's place. Let's see if we can find out more about Jeremy's talisman. Yes, yeah, sure. I have run out of bullets. It turns out shooting first and asking questions later is very expensive on the old bullets. <sighs> Do I kill the other guy? I did, yes. Right, well now I'm out of bullets, so... Oh, that was weird. Oh, there's little baby coffins. Why have they got baby coffins? Boy, there's a lot going on in here. So, let's have a snooping spree, shall we? It That's looks exactly like Jeremy's talisman. Got a clue. An old talisman shaped over centuries. The engraving of the numbers looks to be less than a hundred years old, but the base could be from antiquity. The polished black sunstone in the middle has a glass finish and occasionally gives the impression of hiding a picture within itself. <gasps> and then we pop that in there. I think it's meant to hold the talisman. What does it want me to do? Five, five, five. Oh, we oh, I'm not it. sure what numbers I should use. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. Talisman schematics. 358. Oh. A talisman with a black sunstone, an ancient navigational tool found inside a chenier along the Bayou Tonka. Oh, I'm probably murdering all these words. The old grave was uncovered by oil riggers and said to have unleashed a vagabond devil that massacred its finders. Three numbers needed to span a bridge between the scapes of dream and memory, according to Stern. Not where I want to be, but it's a start. 358. So we're going to go to a bridge between the scapes of dream and memory. Right, three. So three, eight. Ooh. What's that picture in the glass? Where is so it? It's here. Picture, poncho. I mean, it's a blanket, but... Oh, and then that opened. That, it was that, and it was that. And now that's opened. Let's go in. Good to see you again, Miss Hartwood. Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. She also alerted me that you brought a detective with you. I'm very curious to hear what this is all about. You don't remember me, do you, Miss Hartwood? We met at your family's house in the Garden District, when your uncle was about to be admitted under my care. No, I remember. Sorry. I'm not really feeling well. Oh, well, in that case, have a seat. Let me make you a drink. I don't seem to have made much of an impression on you. On the other hand, I can vividly recall you and your parents. Because of our cheerful disposition, I'm sure. You are far too intelligent to think that. You come from a joyless family, Miss Hartwood. The only amusement I took from my visit was discovering that the young lady's drink was an old-fashioned. 
very astute. Is that supposed to make you seem attentive or intelligent? Whatever you prefer. Are you ready to tell me why you are here, Miss Hartwood? And why you brought a detective? I received a letter from my uncle. He seems certain that he was in danger here. If I find out you're treating him badly, I'll be taking him back with me to New Orleans. Really? Is he going to live with you in your tiny garçonniere? That would be a spectacular way to ratify your spinsterhood. Because you are well aware that your father would never let him back in his house. No, I have it. Maybe you can bring him back up north. You've been wanting to move back for quite a few years, haven't you? You always preferred your mother's side of the family. Jeremy is free to leave with you. I won't object. However, there is one problem, as you might have learned. He is, in fact, missing. He's got too many teeth. Do you know where he could have gone? No, I'm afraid I don't. I have my staff looking for him. I'm sure he will show up eventually. Especially if he learns that you are here. He is quite fond of you. What can you tell me about his condition? I never heard a proper diagnosis. What is your medical opinion of him? Well, let me think. He is an anxious man. Depressed, even. He suffers from a perceived lack of order in his inner and outer life. He constantly complains about events not presenting themselves according to their divine nature. In the Dark Man? Hard to tell if it was ever anything specific. Jeremy uses the Dark Man as a psychological scapegoat to avoid facing the truth that he is in any way at fault. You don't think there can be any truth to the Dark Man's... supernatural existence? Why would you ask that? I... Can we ever be sure? If the Dark Man is some sort of evil presence that is in possession of Jeremy? Well... I assure you, any evidence that you experience supporting that claim is purely delusional. Don't get caught up in mass hysteria, Miss Hartwood. Oh, you wouldn't hysteria. want to take your uncle's place in this hospital, would you? Uh, I'll be leaving now, Doctor. I need to keep looking for my uncle. Do so, Miss Hartwood. I'll let you know if he shows up. No, you won't, you creepo. You're up to something and you're rude and I don't like you and you've got too many teeth. So, that concludes my first playthrough of Alone in the Dark. I'd love to hear what you guys have made of this in the comments below. And if you have enjoyed it, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up, as that always gives me and my videos a little bit of a boost. If you're enjoying the game, make sure you're subscribed to the channel as I plan to do weekly uploads. Until next time.